the age of 10. Thank you. Asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of The Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. We start with the closest thing to good news in a very long time. This month, Kenya has exported 52 tons of omena to China. <laughs> yes, Mazem. Wapi wa kofi yetu. Very, 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 very good vibes. For those who don't know what omena is, it's the fish version of short people. Now... <laughs> Fully mature, lakini kwa mwili ya mtoto. But then again, depending on how you look at it, uh, this is not news. Uh, unana vile lunza China zimekuwa uh, zinafinyilia wananchi wa kawaida. It simply means that in Kenya, it's the, small, it's the small fish that have always been feeding China. But now the good news, the good news is Kenya joins the League of African Countries exporting minerals. Like vile Congo is known for diamond, South Africa is known for gold, and Kenya is now on the map for exporting iron. Kama mjua mena is very rich in iron. Eh, <laughs> manze, a lot of good vibes. Asante, thank you. Thank you. A lot of good vibes on this episode. I'll be telling you more about our amazing guests, the amazing guests we have for you on this episode, but not before I tell you about how to get 500 MB worth of YouTube data bundles for free, courtesy of Safaricom. Hii ni akila mtu actually. Just dial star 544 hash on your Safaricom line. I'll have to sub subscribe to any weekly bundle now pate uh, 500 MB worth of YouTube bundles for free. Of course, kola bozetu na Safaricom hatu kosangi kredo ya kupeana. So stand by for more details on that. Tomorrow news kwa our deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa has been on the spot this week over something he said in a foreign country. Rigiji alikuwa on an official visit uh, kwenda Colombia uko ni kwa kina Pablo Escobar. <laughs> and all people focused on was what he said uh, wakati alisema Kenya has tigers. We have many facilities for tourism. We have rare species of our wildlife. Elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, the tiger. <laughs> In his defense, the deputy president has said that where he comes from, a leopard and a tiger are one and the same thing. <laughs> Which would explain uh, why in every election, Kenyans vote for the same person in a different party. They just change colors. Now, both the president and his uh, deputy were out of the country at the same time. And President Ruto was actually pictured uh, walking in New York. And haters were like, Kumbe siyo baba peke yake anayenanga kwa streets bay ya vitu ikipanda. Eh manzi. And then trade CS Moses Kuria, who in the absence of the president and the deputy claimed to be the acting president was also on the spot over these remarks on the rising cost of living. Sasa ukishinda kutoka ya asubuhi mpaka jioni. Bei ya mafuta imeongezeka. Si uchipe kisima yako. Dunia mzima tunajua Bei ya crude oil imeenda juu. Na kama wale watu wa makelele wako na kisima, mimi niko tayari kuchipa kesho. Ah, maze, after he alipata backlash sana, but then the CS tweet, tweeted that fuel prices will continue increasing by 10 shillings every month and by February next year, bei ya mafuta itakuwa imepanda baka ikafikia kiburi yake. And then, the general message from a politician near the cost of living is high everywhere. What was chekelele? The problem is not what CS Kuria said, but how he said it. Because uh, Honorable KJ alisema the same thing, but in a different way, and he did not get in trouble. Ni kweli, garama ya chakula hiko juu. Kienda kule uingereza, hivi leo, kengia kwenye supermarket. Hawezi ukanonua hata chakula jinsi ambavu ungependa. Kuna rationing. Kienda kule uingereza unakuta kwamba uh, ukingia kwa supermarket unaambiwa unaweza nunua nyanya mbili na kiukamba moja. Sijui kama ni mimi peke yangu nimesikia ati mheshimiwa akisema ati unaenda shopping unaambiwa unanunua nyanya mbili na kiukamba moja. <laughs> Sijui mali akili yangu imeenda but that's besides the point. Now uh, you see it's not what you say uh, but how you say it. KJ anasema the same thing honorable Moses Kuria amesema and it's probably a strategy that can work. Think about this. If you are about to go to bed hungry, 
you can feast on this food for thought. Probably at a food sikutatu, but a wave of comfort, satisfaction, and peace can overwhelm you. Uki imagine, si wepe keako. Kuna wazungu wana lalanjani in York. You understand? Imagine the consolation talk. Ata ya mzazi maze in these tough times. Hey, my children, <coughs> what is two days without eating? Ata fadhali nyimu likule ugali mande. <laughs> Tuduke leo, kesho majaliwa. <laughs> Unajua vile ni kubaya Chicago? <laughs> hmm? Watoto noodles, wanaruka wiki moja, alafu wakule crips. <laughs> Now, when you think about it in the context of how lucky we are compared to other countries, after kwanza yu safari ya Rigiji kwenda kwa kina Pablo Escobar, Rigiji angekuja ambia wa Kenya wa shukuru mungu sana, juko Colombia, kwa Ford unga kilo moja, lazima ukue bilionea. <laughs> yeah, manze. Yeah. Yeah. And I know we have so many issues to deal with uh, as a country right now. In fact, we cannot ignore some of the solutions people are suggesting out here. Atheists in Kenya society have called on the government to introduce the one-child policy to control Kenya's population, thereby reducing competition in the job market, uh, in eventually to reduce unemployment. At first, the idea sounds ridiculous until you think about it. It's basically solving unemployment through family planning. In short, Makampuni zijengwe, alafu watu wapewe kandarasi ya kuzawakas. <laughs> hey, I'm trusting the road for two children. <laughs> e, moja na ugojewa kuigia breweries. <laughs> Uyo muigini amekuwa booked na Kenya Meat Commission. <laughs> As in, mind, imagine 50 years from now, giving birth only in proportion to the available job opportunities. Uh, the government is looking for uh, volunteers to give birth to four mechanics. Very specific. This would boost even morale pale kwa workplace. Imagine em every employee talking about, I was born for this job. <laughs> Ata, oops, babies, wakona valid reason to question their parents. Sasa mini lizaliwa wakazi gani. Very specific. <laughs> hey, manzi. Ama wazazi wali, wali elewa tenda vibaya. Tulisema muzai electrician. What is this economy going to do with an influencer? <laughs> hey, manzi, specific. Thank you. Hey, man, I'm talking about twins in the economic sabotage. Now, <laughs> and our government is very crafty with the taxes now. Is it a coincidence that after announcing that El Nino rain, rains are expected in the country in a few weeks, the government proposes to tax swimming? <laughs> Think about it. Now, you can that through South Sea is about to be the most expensive neighborhood <laughs> in Kenya. It's on poor as it can uh, moving on, uh, President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda this week revealed that he does not eat chicken because people who eat chicken have a character of instability. <laughs> Walai, Museveni and Semaivo, you can look it up. Ali Sema, people who eat chicken have a character of instability. And now, to be fair, uh, Haku Sema chicken peke yake, Ali Sema, ali sema fish, uh, nguruwe. Yani, Museveni ni muafrika, mbaka hezi guza white meat. But then... <laughs> It's very funny how diverse our East African presidents are, but then they are united by chicken. We have a president who does not like chicken. We, alafu Kenya sasa tukona president who was made by chicken. <laughs> Ukiteremka uko president, we have another president who is a chick. Now, <laughs> hey. yeah. Now, there's also this very, very sad story of two fishermen who died fighting over a 15 shilling cigarette who causes a homer bay. Now, it's very common knowledge that smoking kills. <laughs> that is common. But this is scary on a whole new level. People only think that smoking is harmful only when done excessively, like chain smoking. In this case, two people died from one cigarette. Blanda sana. We have a classic show lined up for you. We have three guests on set. Leo for a conversation that was inspired by a very hot topic on the interwebs. The unending debate. Yeah. Mambo ya kujenga ushagui na kuanga kutupa pesa. We have a panel of um, gentlemen who you don't want to miss for anything. Tukuna one, Sami Kari Wawero. Uyo tulianza nae comedy in a station. Kwaza tulikuwa nae kwa TV. The first TV station niliai appear on, uh, that was 13 years ago. Very funny guy. Alafu sasa tukotpia na mulamwa. Mulamwa by the way, squeeze ya navama suti. Ni mambi wase kwa studio. Hawezi jua ni miswa ushago. And then, <laughs> hey, alafu tukona one of the finest and the funniest radio presenters in a very long time, and it was Ajo Mbuta. That name rings a bell, most definitely. Wapi makofi yao? 
Yeah, my dear. Thank you. They'll be joining us uh, in a bit. Now, Ata Usi worry about time because we will share, first of all, we'll discuss the topic extensively and we'll share the whole conversation on the Wicked Edition YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss anything and you don't have to worry about YouTube bundles because Safaricom has taken affordable to a whole new level. Where Chukua Simuyako ya Safaricom finya to star 544 hash, Chagua option ya weekly bundles, Jua inakuja na 500 MB free ya ku consume YouTube content. Na ukumbuke, the weekly bundles are going for as low as 50 bob. Unapata 200 MB na bado inakuja na 500 MB for free. When we come back after this short commercial break, now I'm how to win airtime so that you also get a chance to sample this goodness. Usiende mali because we really hope that you can be part of this conversation. Ya story ya kujenga ushago. See you in a bit. Hey, Manze. Asante sana. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Um, our guest uh, for this episode represents very interesting audience segmentations and I'm so glad that we managed to get the three of them on set. They are here to uh, help us break down a conversation this is just an extension yeah, the conversations that we feel Kenyans care about. Kujenga uh, is it a waste of money? Ama how modest or how humble should you be wakati unajenga home? So we put together uh, to one of our favorite comedians of course. Mlamwa is in the house! Ah, ah, was he? Mlamwa akona inspiration. Mlamwa akona inspirational story. He's one of the few people mnaonanga online na inspiration ya. Uh, Amenunua shamba na duthi. Am, am, anajenga mansion na duthi. Mlamwa anafanyaga kila kitu na duthi. But he's a true businessman. Ni boys ali kam, aka start from scratch. He's doing well for himself. He's building stuff for himself. A different version. Uh, his story is a different version from what people usually hear about Maseleb. So I'm so glad that he is here to share his bit f uh, with us about conversation in Angelia. Our other, uh, other guest has been a radio presenter for the longest time, an entertainer, a mikuwa theater. Alafu, eh, tumambia audience wetu wa studio, alifanyo ile kitu in August 2022. Something major happened. Mnajua, <laughs> ile kitu wa Kenya walikuwa nafanyia watu, eh, the so-called waeshimiwa. Eh, Aliyeshimika mbaka sambili ya subui. <laughs> <laughs> August Mahali, very good vibes, a fun guy to hang out with. Ajo Mbuta is in the house. Asante sana. Ajo is very good vibes also. Walikuwa namsikiza kwa radio wanajua. Alafu, our other guest is someone we started out with wakati tulikuwa tuna act. Wakati bado tulikuwa nafanya skits on TV. My first time appearance on TV competition ya comedy group. A very funny gentleman. If you see him, he's a familiar face. Mna mwona kwa ma billboards hapa na pale. But sana sana, yu fanyanga clips na skits zake. Kama, okay, he's a master. Mr. Make Joke yake hapa ju, nikisema itakavi baya. Ni yeye ya neza make jokes zake, peke yake. Sami Kari Wawero is... To the house. Unaza jenga nyumba ya 200 million ya ushago. Iyo ni pesa mingi sana. To be honest, first of all, sisi ni watu tumezoea maisha ya ushago. From kusoma, tukisoma, from nasale, primary, sisi tulipata wale walimu wa nyayo, wakati wa nyayo, maziwa ya nyayo. Mara walimu walikuwa na tufundisha wakisema, Oiro adididhuru are all types of fetro. Meaning, oil and diesel are all types of fetro. So, from how you've been brought up in Central, and many people how they have been brought up in Central, actually 200 million ni pesa mingi sana. Actually, kujenga nyumba ushago ya pesa mingi, haiwezi pitisha 5 million. Kama umepitisha Central nyumba ya 5 million, wewe ukona kashida mahali. Ukona kasoro. Ukona kasoro mahali. Because some of these houses, sometimes, you know, through maybe grandfathers, tunakutanga wakisema, ukijenga nyumba kubwa, maybe seven or maybe eight rooms. How watoto wenye unajengea kila mtu rumu yake, watakuacha. Okay. Yeah, maybe after some years. Kama ni madem, watawolewa. Si yataiti atambiwa sasa wacha tukupatie rola ashio msichana wako na mtaka. Yeah. Kama ni majama, eh, pia nao wanatafuta pesa zao wanato. Na, najua Ajo has a lot to say about that, but tuanze na mlamua. <laughs> tu, tuanze na mlamua cause, mlamua wewe by the way, I celebrate you so much. Because um, I don't know, kuna wase wana, wanaeza argue ati umejenga mapema, mm -hmm. eh, na, na ati kuna age flani ndi umsia na faafike ndi ajenge hao. 
right mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a win it's a win like kutoka kutoka ocha ukam na u make something for yourself na ujenge kija yako uh, have you dealt with stories that umejenga too soon na umejenga nyumba kubwa especially yeah. juna jo ulianza kujenga ukiwa single <laughs> yeah wase wengi wanasema ati nimejenga mapema but mimi sioni ni mapema ju si feel wait hiyo kujenga mm -hmm. ju hata karibu inaisha Mm -hmm. So far imekula kaa 10M bado 4 iishe of which ni pesa less in a few months itakuwa imedead. Mm -hmm. So uh, kuna cha kujenga mapema in fact that is buying financial freedom. Mm -hmm. Unaona because hapa mbele hautakuwa una save do utakuwa una save ya nini usha uko na shake ushajenga ndio mm -hmm. imebaki sasa ni kujengea hawa sasa wana rent huko. Okay. Hao wenye wataki kujenga mtaani au sasa tunawajengea wakae. Ndio utakuwa na hiyo financial freedom because hizo ukisikia mtu analia hali ya maisha ni ngumu. Kitu ya kwanza namfinya number 1 ni rent. But ungekuwa na keja yako kwanza ungekuwa usha solve half ya shida zako kufika hapo. Unaona? So I believe uh, ukiweza pata chance ya kujenga just jenga. Nikitupoa inaingia kwa heart unaifanya pole pole without any any pressure. Okay. Yeah. So kuna wasi sema ni mapema but mimi sioni ni mapema. Naona napata financial freedom mapema because size ukipata mtu anasoma, muulizo unasoma ya nini nipate kazi. Ukishapata kazi ninunue shamba yangu mimi niko nayo. Nijenge, mimi nishajenga. So <laughs> unangangana kufanya vitu mimi nishafanya. Okay. Unapata so pesa unapata nyingine ni surplus. Mm -hmm. Now you can start hata ku develop sasa urban areas nini ile ni surety okay. especially kwa job zetu kama wasanii because haujuangi kesho utaamka aje. Unaweza amka kesho tu kuna msanii mwingine mnoma anatesa kukuliko yeye ndana piga hizo endorsements there is nothing you will do. So you just have to make hay while the sun shines. Kukikwa kubaya tafuta 800 piga mbukinya shuka. Oh, kwa fanya. <laughs> so, so, iki jako, iki jako iko, iko ushago. Eh, hey, but see, atini sasa ukisikia ushago ni uko, apana, ni place. Mm. But fiche. ushago ni place unenda na mbukinya, right? Yes. So, but, <laughs> so, si place uneza kwa unatoka ukikuja job? Ah, wezi. Kama una waka Nairo, zi, wezi. But exactly. kama una waka iyo, iyo city ya Kital, then you're yes. okay. Yeah. So, was financial experts wanasema, mm -hmm. ati ukijenga keja place kama iyo, iyo ni 10M umewekelea, mm -hmm. alafu unakuja unakaa huku, mm -hmm. yet 10M, bado ukiwa young, uneza invest, iku inakupea more money, mm -hmm. na niki umelala ukiwa kwa keja huko. Ukiwana mtu na jenga nyumba ya 10M, jua kuna 10M mingini. So... <laughs> <laughs> Sasa ati imeisha huko ati sasa juu keje inajengwa mimi nalala nje zis yes, bado yes, yes. napiga luku niko fine so si ati hiyo pesa imeisha kuna ingine. Mm. yes kuna sijui anaitwanga nani sijui marapa poa but i think ni JZ ama Tiger yeah, yeah, yeah. si Tiger Rigji ule rapper yeah. alisema if you can't buy it twice then you can't afford it mm -hmm. yes so ukiona mtu anaijenga ako na formation ah, ya ingine. Mm. eh ah yeah ajo mm. 200 million Hiyo hata ni kidogo my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to Zemi here and Ashanga am I in the right place? <laughs> Ojua, let me tell you I don't know how people are built but for yes. for for the jangos the jelua I know sisi ndo yule mjelua na earn 100,000 mm. na anaenda kwa duka ya simu ananunua simu ya 99,000. <laughs> Ukimuliza why are you doing this information is better than accommodation. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> So I wonder why, I wonder why, sometimes you know we are told, we are told, oh, we are told what will end up in Guni, tutajengewa uko, what if you binguni ya iko? Jenga hapa, weka 200 and, 230, we, yeah. sami wacha hiyo jiyo. 230 million, 200 ni ya kujenga, 30 million ni ya fundi. I end up here, ajitibu. <laughs> Let me tell you, I, I don't really think if uh, the, the people who, who call who call these projects white elephant. Mimi nataka ni kishi Nairobi, ni kikula chini Nairobi na lala juu. Na ni naanika nguo juu ya hiyo nyuma yangu ingine. So it, it has to be a house with a roof, an open roof, unakula chini, unalala juu. Unaanika nguo zaku juu ya hiyo nyuma ya unalala. My friend, apana bembeleza maisha, what if sasa ukai na hiyo pesa, Na pengine tu hata tuseme, hata tuseme tu pilau tu ime kunyonga tu ime kufu. <laughs> My friend, jitibu, treat yourself while you're still alive, jitibu. Tesa pesa, tesa. Eh, lari, I, so, eh, wewe nyumba ikona ground floor peke yake, hapana. Iyo kwaza, iyo kwaza ni haibu unafanya nini? <laughs> unafanya nini? Alafu kuna, kuna mula moki kuna kitu umesema waja ni kukorekt. <laughs> Mutu wanajenga nyumba ya 10 million. Lazima kuwe na masidizi ya kuwe na nyumbani mwana. 
Acha kwa na Acha kwa na nyumba ya 10 million na hey. na Mbukinya. Wewe Mbukinya enda bishara na mtu wa petrol station. Wewe kwanza uko Candy Crush Jaza. Jaza aja ya Jaza. Ikifika time juu pesa inachafua mkono. Pengine hata change umepewa pesa kutoka marikiti. Chomoa card my friend. Chomoa card. Card ni platinum. Mara au watu wajui ku treat pesa bwana. You are supposed to use your money yes. eat it while you are still alive. Mhm. Historia ya kujenga kanyumba kadogo kana ka, kama 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 nyumba ya umba. Let me tell you. No who sleep? Who sleeps in a two bedroom house? What a two bedroom house? What is that? Hiyo ni kama store my friend. Wewe sahi as a person ukakuwa na access like ya 1 billion. Hakuna vile unajenga nyumba kubwa ati Actually let us let me tell you what we do in Central. Eh, Central <laughs> eh, niki, kama niko maybe nimekomboa kahao hapa maybe umoja ama hey, hey, whatever hey. yeah maybe <laughs> It's only a kikuyu It's only a kikuyu It's only a kikuyu yeah. anajenga ushago mm. tuseme nyumba ya 1. Point something m yeah. eh, maybe 1 2.3 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. eh, kuna mwingine amejenga maybe mwenye the richest yes. yake ni ya 5 million 5 million eh mm. Kuna venye aki, aki maybe ameimaliza mm. kuna kamse mwingine anamwambia e, 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 hiyo nyumba ni supu anamwambia kuna venye naweza kuwa na kupatia 100k per month Mkikuyu anaitikia hapo hapo anahama unaona yenye umeishi ya 10k <laughs> eh, umoja ama kwingine yeah. etsone ya kikuyu akiona mse mwingine atatoa 15k the same same house and rent anamwambia kuja hii <laughs> <laughs> 5k inaweza kuwa na kulia wewe ingia wapi <laughs> kwa hii nyumba hata maybe ni ya 10k and we have very many by the kiku is who are doing that eh? anachukua nyumba na 10k anakodesha wase wengine na 25k ama nini 30k that is how kiku is do now Magic. let me yes let, let me come now to your point given 1 billion uh, one thing hiyo uh, ni pesa mzuri <laughs> uh, kitu ya kwanza mimi nitafanya uh, ni kujirudishia shukurani of course <laughs> kama bibi ni mmoja na oa gapi <laughs> naambia bibi yangu sasa tunajua tumetoka bali lakini hakuna mahali tuna <laughs> juu hatuwezi hatuwezi subuana wakati siku wana pesa <laughs> na tusubuane <laughs> wakati niko na pesa niko na pesa So the first thing he billion eh. na muuliza juu pesa iko eh. wewe eh. niambie vile unataka na watoto wetu <laughs> kama ni kuwajegea ni wajege eh. eh, ni sawa <laughs> lakini sasa mimi kashugu lazima nifanye nini natafuta <laughs> na hata kashugu akakiniletea noma natafuta eh. kegi kegi so eh, in, na option yes so, in, by in the, this context yes. we ni mtu ni pesa imekukazia kwa marriage yes <laughs> Unaona hata saa hii yeah. saa hii nipatie 1 billion yeah. the first thing the first first day eh nipate billion saa hii nione ime reflect kwa account na change bibi saa hii hiyo <laughs> na badilisha bibi saa hii hiyo pala sana alafu umeuliza some swali nyingine imeniuma sana hapa ati umemuliza 10 billion bado hakuna audacity the power and the courage kutamka neno umoja inako <laughs> how, how do you mention umoja na mdomo wako na ukula 10 billion to account niletee maji it is so painful 10 billion una mention two bed umoja na na hapa hapa akina kidero unataka hata hana jirani so ndio uishi kama yake huko hapa <laughs> mudaiga my friend hapo ende karen utese okay threshold threshold ya kuishi umoja ni pesa ngapi umoja bwana umoja unataka umoja si lazima ukue na pesa bwana maze wadau i trust me enjoy conversation yetu leo wameweza ama hawajaweza Hey, Mazi. Guys, asante sana. This was so much fun yeah. for me. Personally, mimi nimejibamba. 
and i hope hata wasa wa home wamejibamba and on tv for the uh, e time to me this is just a segment of what this whole conversation is you can catch the whole conversation on our youtube channel the wicked edition uh, and nimewaambia courtesy of safaricom now youtube sasa ndio inaenda kukuwa even more affordable say <coughs> when you buy any weekly bundle uh, package na uh, ina come na as low as 50 shillings uh, which is 200 mb you get 500 mb extra any package you may buy uh, unaenda unapata extra alafu kwanza say youtube imeshika sana hii podcast culture ya kenya allow me to give a special shout out kwa mavijana fulani mimi nilikuwa naona anga wasi comment oh tulete three men army kwa show mnajua three men army Eh hey, mazao ma boys ni wa funny manze. So Kenya iko na content manze especially kwa YouTube space and I'm glad we get to promote this uh, for such and more content. Uh, special thanks to Safaricom for making this possible. Uh, the YouTube bundle package when you want to okay, make cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. The last time we did a Safaricom promo on the show and a partnership uh, for conversation on YouTube sai imeenda even lower. And as a giveaway yenye niliwambia on the show uh, on the YouTube, on this show that we are uploading on YouTube, the first 10 comments, uh, apatia, first 10 comments relevant to uh, the conversation we are having, now apatia kila mtu kredo ya 250 shillings. <laughs> Asante. Asante. Remember just dial star 544 hash. Alafu enda uchague the YouTube bundle package ama the MB, the weekly bundle package yenye na free 500 MB YouTube. Otherwise asante sana for joining us at home. Asante sana to our studio audience. Watu makofieni. Asante. Asante sana mlamwa, asante sana uh, Ajo, asante sana Sam. You guys went through leaps and bounds to make sure this episode has happened. I can't thank you enough. Asante ni sana. Mm. Asante. Wazi. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. King Ode.